Assalamualaikum guys and welcome to my YouTube channel Biology Articles and MCQs. Guys, our today's topic of discussion is digestion in Hydra. Uh, but first of all, uh, one thing you have to tell me that uh, you, have, uh, you know that what is Hydra? Okay, let us uh, first discuss about the Hydra briefly. That what is Hydra? Guys, you are seeing here uh, a Hydra diagram of the Hydra picture of Hydra. Guys, Hydra is an aquatic and diploblastic animal. Aquatic means it lives in the water and uh, it, uh, its body is vast like here you can see that here it is body of the Hydra and it is the vast like and it consists of main two layers. And um, one word I used about the Hydra is uh, that it is a diploblastic animal. Do you know about the diploblastic animal? Uh, that what are uh, what are diploblast guys uh, diploblastic animals are those animals in which the uh, when they are their embryonic form the their body is consist of the main two layers one is endoderm and that second is ectoderm uh, endoderm is the inner layer of cells and the ectoderm is outer layer of cells so uh, the as the hydra is a diploblastic animal so the hydra's body will consist of principal two layers and uh, two principal layers and uh, the outer layer is the ectoderm and the inner layer will be called the endoderm these uh, these both are guys uh, the layers of cells so uh, this uh, ecto uh, ectoderm that is uh, the outer layer in the uh, in the embryo form of the hydra will uh, form the epidermis and the endoderm, which was the inner layer in the embryonic form, will eventually form the gastrodermis. Here you can see and we will better understand about the epidermis and gastrodermis. Here you can see the structure of hydra. First of all, uh, this is uh, a layer of cell, outer layer of cell here shown. And uh, this layer of cells is called epidermis. Guys, what is the function of epidermis? You know that the epidermis, wherever it is present, helps in the protection. And it is uh, also a help in the senses, like it, it is a sensory epithelium and it, it is a protective layer. So it is called epidermis and it, uh, it, it is formed from the ectoderm, uh, uh, ectoderm layer of the cells, which was uh, previously present in the uh, in the embryo form and this inner layer of cell is called the gastrodermis and this gastrodermis you know that it is derived from the inner layer of cell that was present in the uh, embryo form and uh, which we called as uh, endoderm so endoderm give rise to these uh, this layer of cells this is now called as gastrodermis and what is the function of this gastrodermis this is the nutritive epithelium means uh, this will help in the digestion and nutrition for the hydra. After these two layers, epidermis and inner layer gastrodermis, here is the cavity one uh, cavity is present that is called as gastrovascular cavity. This is uh, the simple body cavity or gastrovascular cavity of the hydra. And this gastrovascular cavity uh, if, uh, will function as the digestive cavity. Means the digestion of the food in the hydra will take place here. After these three parts of the hydra, you can see here, here, here is a portion that is called as mouth. Guys, one uh, interesting thing about hydra is that the, there is a single opening in the hydra. Uh, which is only the mouth means if hydra has to eat the food and ingest it then it will ingest it through the mouth and while ingestion while mm, ingestion it will expel out the undigested waste uh, from its body uh, from this common opening which is called as mouth so this is the common opening only one opening uh, uh, in the hydra that is present that is helping in the ingestion and ejection both of the processes. So the digestive cavity of the hydra is also called gastrovascular cavity and it is also called the cylindron. 
in addition to ep epidermis gastrodermis and gastrovascular cavity and mouth there uh, is one thing present here that are called as tentacles guys uh, these uh, thread like structures in the hydra are present that are called as tentacles what is the function of these tentacles that it uh, help in the grabbing of the food whatever hydra had to eat will be grabbed through this uh, this portion that is called as tentacle and uh, guys in the hydra there are many cells uh, present um, uh, on the uh, tentacles and these are stinging cells uh, and um, stinging cells means that they contain uh, the poison and these cells are called nematocyst so this uh, this is a brief uh, introduction of hydra so uh, let, uh, let's start that uh, how the ingestion and digestion or ejection takes place in hydra first of all the food uh, uh, whatever the prey is uh, it can be daphnia or cyclops or whatever the thing is it is will come uh, in contact with uh, the, the uh, first of all it will be grabbed by the help of tentacles and the uh, um, small cells stinging cells that are present on the surface of the tentacles will uh, may help in first of all the um, uh, uh, paralyzing the prey how uh, these cells look like first of all we will discuss this these are the uh, cells that are called the nematocyst uh, which i call that the stinging cells are present these nematocysts are present and these nematocysts guys work in uh, work in a manner that uh, if you are wearing a sweater and have uh, its sleeve uh, outside in in and uh, then you uh, grab this sleeve outside the same is the function of a um, uh, method of functioning of this nematocyst means uh, there is a thread like structure that is present inside the nematocyst and whenever the prey will uh, attach to it it will come outside here is a thread in out in the outside direction and this uh, thread will uh, then uh, release the poison and the prey will be paralyzed or it is sometimes killed so after killing the prey killing of the prey the prey will uh, uh, be uh, the hydra will uh, grasp its, uh, its prey with the tentacles and push it into the digestive cavity which we called the gastrovascular cavity through the mouth now the, the prey is inside the gastrovascular cavity of the hydra here is the prey that is shown so after entering into it here the process of ingestion is completed and now the process of uh, process of digestion will start the process of digestion will be carried out the main uh, layer that is called as gastrodermis by the help of gastrodermis layer first of all uh, this gastrodermis layer will secrete the digestive enzyme here you can see that this is the gastrodermis layer uh, shown uh, uh, these uh, these are releasing uh, some of the digestive enzyme by the gastrodermis and these uh, digestive enzymes will start the extracellular digestion after the extracellular digestion the uh, the food particles will be broken down into the smaller pieces and then the these smaller pieces will be engulfed by the gastrodermis again here you can see that these smaller pieces are again engulfed by the gastrodermis cell and uh, here the digestion will be completed intracellularly by the help of digestive vacuoles after the digestion the indigestible uh, food will be uh, again expelled out from the gastrovascular cavity by the help of the single opening that is called as mouth so guys this type of digestive system is a sac like digestive system which has a common opening so this is an important mcq that which type of digestive system hydra possesses then hydra possesses sac like digestive system because it contains single opening for the ingestion and ejection i hope you understand all the things about the digestion ingestion digestion and uh, ejection of the hydra 
and don't forget to share this video with your friends thank you so much